These are my wife's favorite pair of Vans. She wears them just about every day and they get pretty dirty. So I mixed up a tablespoon of Tide in two cups of water. Now when it comes to cleaning things like this, you want something strong enough that's gonna loosen up the dirt, but gentle so it won't damage the shoes. Also, it's important to remember that detergent is super concentrated, so a little bit will go a long way. Now when it comes to cleaning, grab a soft bristle brush, something like a toothbrush or like the brush I have here works great. Dip it in the solution and start on one side of the shoe and start scrubbing. Make sure to get a good lather because this will loosen up all that dirt and grime. Once you're done scrubbing, grab a towel and gently wipe and dry the shoe. Now, if you feel like this section is nice and clean, there's no more dirt and grime, then move on to the next part of the shoe. I like to clean in sections, that way I'm not missing any spots or spills and I can keep drying the shoes and make sure that all the dirt and grime is being removed. Now I will say you might run into a few spots on the white rubber strip that runs around the shoe. Don't worry, that's completely normal. In the next step, I'm gonna show you how to touch those up and to get those completely clean. But for now, just continue this cleaning process until both shoes are done. Now once you've completed scrubbing the shoes, the last cleaning step before we get them dry is just to detail the rubber strip and get rid of those stubborn stains. Now there's two ways I like to do this, one being a melamine sponge, whether it's an eraser daddy or magic eraser, these work great and they're quick and easy, just get them wet. You can also try a little Barkeeper's Friend soft cleanser. Apply a little bit to a scrub sponge, scrub the strip and wipe it away. Both of these methods work great at getting those stubborn stains out. All right, now that the shoes are completely clean and looking great, I mean, check out how white the soles are, amazing. Now I'm gonna show you the hack to get them dry as quickly as possible to prevent yellowing and browning and from any stains coming back. Grab a roll of toilet paper, take a few pieces and start applying it to the wet shoe. Now the goal here is to wrap the entire pair of shoes kind of like a mummy. It's also a good idea to add a few wads of toilet paper to the inside of the shoe. This will just help speed up the drying process. Once you've thoroughly wrapped the entire pair of shoes in toilet paper, let them set until they're completely dry. Okay, so it's the moment of truth. The shoes have been sitting overnight wrapped in the toilet paper. They're dry now. Let's unwrap them and see how they look. So the toilet paper helps prevent something called wicking. If the shoe is going to brown or yellow, the idea is that it will get sucked up into the toilet paper and not left on the surface of the shoe. This hack works great on any type of shoe that you wash and it turns yellow or brown, so definitely give it a try. The other pro tip I suggest is to use the lint roller after using the toilet paper because sometimes it can leave a little lint behind.